guys, Dr. M3 here with an unboxing. Now, you know on the channel I don't do too many unboxings, but this one is special. Why? Well, this box, I waited for two and a half months to show up. And it got here just in time for the holidays. I've got my buddy here, Ted. You saw him in a recent video hanging out of the Red Storm. He's a bad boy, but he's here to help me unbox this new thing. So why don't we just go ahead and jump right into it. Got my box cutter here. Let's open this bag and see what we got inside. I'm sure you guys are just as curious as I am. What's in this thing? Because anything that's worth waiting for for two months better be good. All right, so this is what we've got. I'm gonna take them out one at a time. First one's coming out is this thing. Bam! Yes, it's the Mavic Pro by DJI. And I got the Fly More Combo. So we've got a couple of other things in here. We've got this Fly More Combo and this third box, which we'll find out it is. It's pretty light. So I'm just gonna move this out of the way here and kind of go through these three items. Let's start here. Put these aside. And the Mavic Pro. Let's open so, this thing. Um, looks like we've got something here. And so let's start with the Mavic Pro. And wow. So, just looking at the box, this is this reminds you a lot of what Apple does. But first thing that really is obvious is the drone itself. It looks pretty nice. It feels solid, it feels metallic, but we're gonna take a look at the rest of the box. There is the drone itself. Then there is the controller. And um, it really does feel like a, a joystick. It clips together, see these, uh, the antennas feel really solid. They're plastic. They feel really solid. It feels good in the hand, so that's the controller. Pretty good. Uh, in the box, more stuff. So it looks like a, a micro USB, a um, charger, and another port here. I'm sure you can swap out. I think what's in here is a lightning adapter that comes directly on the controller itself. And this is probably the Android, also micro. It is micro USB. Um, actually, there are two. We're going to take a closer look at these later. But you get a bunch of uh, accessories. Furthermore, let's see. There is a binder here, a little booklet that has, I'm going to assume has, yeah, all your instructions. Again, very much like what you see with Apple, right? So you've got the starting guide, the intelligent flight manuals, and of course a whole bunch of disclaimers. So that's that. And then we also have the power brick itself. So you have the extension cord. Um, and the cool thing about this, it looks like it has two USB ports so you can charge your your smartphone or um, the the controller itself right from there. There's a difference from the last um, power adapter that we had for the Phantom 4 so I'll talk about that. So let me put this box aside. So that's what's in the main box. So the second box is the Fly More Combo for the Mavic Pro. And in here, I think we're going to have all the additional accessories. So that's the basic part of the Mavic Pro. So in here we have the battery charging hub, 
I'm going to open that in just a moment. Uh, we have the first intelligent battery. And this kit comes with three batteries total. One that's on the drone and two additional batteries. So we have two batteries, the uh, battery charger, and what's really cool is that you get a car charger. You know, when you're out in the field and you're flying a lot, it's great to be able to plug in uh, to your car, hopefully keep it running, we don't want to kill the battery, and charge your devices while you're on the go. There's also a uh, battery to power adapter. I'm not sure where you would ever want to do this, but you could use one of your Mavic Pro batteries as a charger for your smart device and you'd use it through this, uh, through this hub. And you get two additional folding props. So um, an extra set of props. In fact, when you look at the drone, the front props are missing. Uh, and I think, I guess, you get the extra ones here. So that's what we've got. So let's uh, get this box out of the way. And look at the final box, which is unlike all the others. It's, uh, it's brown as opposed to white. Let's go ahead and open it. And in here is, aha, the carrying case for this very small drone. So I'm going to show you a comparison to, you guys know I have the uh, Phantom um, 4 now, and that's a huge backpack. If you take a look at this, this is pretty small. Um, that just goes to show you the difference and how miniature this this thing is. So we'll take a look at that. All right, so let's take a look at the individual components here. Let's start with the drone itself. I'm actually surprised how light this thing is. Um, build quality is really solid. I actually like the logos and the way they've sort of put this together. So let's kind of unfold it. So the front of the craft is obviously this way. So these arms fold outwards and then the rear props fold down and back. And that's pretty good. Again, the, the propellers themselves are, front propellers are off, but uh, you don't even have to spread these apart. They kind of get there themselves. The thing is really solid and it's light. And the interesting thing is the wingspan is about the same as the Phantom uh, 4, but just so much smaller. So you've got up front here, the, there's a soft silicon covering to the protector, which I think comes off like that for the gimbal itself. And then there's an additional holder for the gimbal. It's amazing how this, look at that. That's actually really good. So you can see on this uh, drone, there are two forward sensing uh, sensors, vision sensors they call them. And on the underside are two additional sensors. Uh, unlike the new, um, Phantom 4 Pro where you have 360 degrees um, or the Inspire 2 that has upwards and downward sensors. These are just uh, front and downward facing sensors, but it's pretty good. It's pretty solid. You have some heat sinks here as well. Um, I'm, I'm liking this a lot. To remove the battery, it's, I will just take the tab off here. Remove the battery. There are two tabs on the side. You push in and you pull straight up. The battery comes out. It's amazing how small this battery is, but it, it uh, will get you about 27 minutes of flight time under normal conditions. If it's pretty windy, it's probably uh, realistically about 20 minutes worth of flight time. So there is uh, there is the drone itself. I'm just really amazed at the size of this thing. You really could fit this in a your cargo pants pocket or something, a regular pocket wouldn't work. All right, let's take a look at the controller itself, which is the other big piece. It's the way you communicate. Now, for the, the Mavic Pro, you can actually fly this drone either with the controller or you can fly it strictly from your smartphone. But let's just take a look at the uh, controller itself. Got the two antennas, antennas that you can um, uh, open up and then for your smartphone, it's right there. And you can see the lightning uh, adapter, lightning port for your smartphone. So let's go ahead and put an iPhone uh, in this bad boy. So you go 
like so, like so, and there you have it. And it feels, it feels really good. It's solid. Um, and, you know, the controllers, the knobs themselves are, are clearly plastic. And this is if you want to use your battery from the drone as a power bank. Now, I probably would never do that, but so um, it's a small power adapter. So how this would work is you take your regular battery, just here, and you connect that, and then now you have two USB ports that you can charge your device. The challenge when you have you know three or four batteries is getting them charged, and a hub is certainly the best way to do it. So let's open the hub here. Let's see what this looks like. You have some documentation on top, and the hub that's on the inside. Let's try to take this out. There it is. Um, so on the bottom you have the port plugs in from the brick itself into the bottom and then you have ports for four batteries. That's it. That's simple. And to take it off just straight out. So that is the hub. What we have is a cigarette lighter adapter and again that uh, a common cable. It's a that's what's in the box. And so I want to show you guys something, what, just give you a comparison, because I've had several drones now over the last few years. And let me show you what the Mavic looks like, its size. So I'm going to move some things out of the way here just for a quick comparison. This is the Mavic Pro. This is 3D Robotics Solo. And I love this drone because of its stealth look. Look at the difference in size. That's just amazing to me. But it gets better. Let's take a look at the younger or the older brother to the Mavic Pro. The Phantom 4. And that drone, relatively speaking, is massive compared to the other one. So, Phantom 4, which I love, by the way. This has just been, you saw the videos that I've posted online um, from the rallies this summer. Uh, just a great drone. Um, but still a problem given the size, uh, its size and how you, you know, how you transport it. The Mavic is going to be amazing. The Mavic thing, that's actually pretty good. Let me show you what I travel with now on occasion. For the Phantom 4, this is the carrying case. Look at the size difference. This is, this is for me, game changing. Flying or even in the Lambo where this takes up two thirds of the space in the bonnet, this is nothing. So guess what? Be prepared for lots and lots of drone footage. So thanks again, guys, for watching. I really appreciate your support. Please like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to click the notification so you get those notifications when I release new videos, including these awesome drone shots that are going to come by. Happy holidays. Thanks for watching.